Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I would like to talk about a simple bidirectional counter that is going to be made using these IR sensors here. I'm having two IR sensors and an LED. A bidirectional counter is very important in situations where you need to know the number of people entering or leaving a specific location. Normally, they can be used in maybe commercial buildings or stadium whereby the number of people inside the location can be used maybe to determine the lighting or the temperature by turning on the light or fans and all that is being controlled by automatic counting of the people entering or leaving the location there so in this case for example i'm going to be using these ir sensors to detect movement remember these sensors whenever movement is detected here yeah, there will be an increase in the counting or decrease depending on the direction of the movement then this LED is going to be used as light for example if it's a room and someone enters the room then the light goes on if there are no people in the room the light will go off then i will put a simple lcd display here so that i can be able to know the number of people who have entered the given location let me now try it out and see this is the first setup I'm going to use. For example, if it's a room, it's going to have two doors. One door is going to be the entrance and the other one is the exit. So you're going to have one IR sensor on the exit and the other IR sensor on the entrance. So for example, we are going to have two IR sensors. One is going to be at the entrance and the other one at the exit. So whenever a person enters the room, the counter will be increasing. And when someone leaves the room, the counter will be decreasing. So let me upload the code and I show you how this works. So from here you can see, from the LCD you see there are no visitors and even the LED is off, meaning there is no one in the room. So for example, if someone begins entering, so if someone enters the room, it means the IR sensor at the entrance is going to detect movement and then the counter is going to be incremented, so the visitor is going to be 1. Then if another visitor comes in, the counter is increased to 2. Another visitor comes in, 3. Four, like that so if someone in leaves the room the counter is going to be decreased so if someone goes at the exit the visitors decrease to three two one zero so there are no visitors in the room anymore and even the LED goes off so that's how that counter works However, this bidirectional counter has some major challenges. For example, we are always assuming that the person entering or leaving the room should always use the entrance and exit. In other words, they only move in one direction. And even there is a major challenge, as you can see. For example, if someone is moving and maybe stops briefly at the counter. So if someone is at the counter, the counter will always be increasing. The same happens here. If someone is getting out, and stops at the IR sensor at the exit, the counter keeps on decreasing even if that person has not gone away. So that's a very big challenge. So to solve such challenges, we need to use another configuration of the IR sensors, which I'm going to be showing you next. So to solve the problems that I've talked about earlier, we are going to be using two sensors instead of one. So in this case, we shall be able to determine the direction of movement. If, for example, someone is moving from left to right, the counter is going to be increasing if someone moves from right to left, the counter is going to be decreasing. In other words, if someone is entering the room, they have to first be detected by both sensors before the count is increased. And if they are getting out of the room, they still have to be detected by both the IR sensors to decrease the count. So let me show you how this works. So as you can see here, I have uploaded a new code. And in that code, for the counter to be incremented, the person entering the room has to first be detected by the first IR sensor on the left hand side, and then detected by the second IR sensor, then the counter will be increased. So let me show you how that is. The first IR sensor detects the person, and then the second one detects. That's when the counter is increased, and even the LED goes on, meaning that there is someone in the room. So if another person comes, the visitor count is increased. A third person enters like that so if someone is getting out of the room then it means they are going to be detected by the ir sensor on the right hand side first so let's see someone getting out of the room detected by the first IR sensor and then the second one and as you can see the counter is decreased so the same thing happens in another person going out so like that 
this helps us to solve the problem of continuous counting even when someone is not entering or leaving the room. For example, if someone comes and maybe stops at the first counter but does not enter the room and gets out, as you can see, the counter still shows that there's no one in the room. The same thing if someone is, for example, if someone enters at first and then if that person wants to get out but does not get out, if he's detected by the first counter but does not get out and goes in again, the counter still shows that there's someone in the room. Therefore, you have solved a very big challenge. So this is the recommended setup. Instead of using just one counter at the entrance and exit, it's better to use two counters so that you can be able to detect movement depending on the direction of detection of the two counters. I'll put a link in the description below. You can be able to find the code and you can even read the explanation of how this counter works. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to like my videos and even watch my other videos. Thanks for watching.